<笑>おいダンちゃんえ日本語喋られるのうん京都だけ日本語を話せますへえー、お日本語上手ですね<音声>はい。Today's video is all about common Japanese phrases that you're going to hear in Japan and what they really mean. To help us out, I've got my resident native speaker, Dan Pan Man. Hey, and as you can see, he's totally on board for helping us out. So he's going to give us a Japanese phrase and I'm going to tell you what it really means. So, Dan Pan Man, take it away. Hi, okay, this is the first one. ちょっとねあ、ah, I see the old hiss of death quite common in Japan people in Japan don't like to say no so instead they'll do this ちょっと which basically means nah mate no way so they just don't want to tell you no um, there's variations of this but basically as soon as you hear you fuck it so Don't bother trying anymore. Next phrase, d a m p a n Man. Hi, okay, this is、uh, Sugi wa. Moshi waki gozaimasen. Right, this one's kind of common if you watch TV or YouTube. Let's say I'm a politician or a YouTuber in Japan and I fucked up big time and I need to make one of them super serial apology videos where I'm like, I'm right, sorry for what I've done in life and, and all that stuff.、Um, and what they'll say, they'll say, Moshi waki. And a massive bow, 45 degree to let you know just how sorry they are. And that seems good. I mean, literally, it translates as like, there's no excuse for what has happened or something like that. And yeah, on face, it seems like, oh, that guy's proper sorry. But you know, these fucking knobheads, they're never actually sorry. They're just sorry they got caught. And that's basically what it means. It means, I'm sorry I got caught doing a thing that I shouldn't have done.、Uh, but Sorry, not sorry, bro, basically is what that means. And I've never had to do it myself, but at some point in my life, I might have to make one of them videos where I look into the camera and be like, But probably I won't because I don't want to. But yeah, that basically is pretending to be sorry. d a m p a n Man, next one. Right, this one you're going to hear a lot when you come to Japan and you start meeting new people. Up there, w e nice to meet you. The next phrase you're probably going to hear is this phrase. And what it literally means is, let's add each other online. And for those of you that don't know, Line is the mobile、uh, messaging app in Japan, like this. It's kind of like WhatsApp or Telegram or you know, one of them things where you message each other through the internet. And you add your friends and you've got loads of friends on here like this, look.、Um, but basically, what this phrase literally translates to in real speak is, let's add each other online. Brackets and never speak to each other again. Let's send each other one stamp and then end of conversation and never to be seen again. So <laughs> people add each other online all the time, but look at all these conversations. I don't speak to any of these people, never have sent them a sticker on that or that. Some of these people are cool though, so you know. But yeah, you'll hear this phrase a lot when you start meeting people in Japan, so be ready for what it really means. And next one. Eh, eh, na, ze hi ikitai na. This is another one you'll hear in Japan a lot when you first get here, and it's easy to misinterpret because what they say is, Yes, I absolutely want to go.、Um, so, yeah, you think, Yes, they want to go. But what they actually mean is, I will not be caught dead there in a million years, fam. Can't believe you asked me that. I'm not going. Is basically what that translates as. In Japan, they have this thing called tatemai, which is like public face, where they say what they're supposed to say in public, but the private opinion is usually quite different. And this is one of them examples like, Yes, I want to go means fuck you, dude. I ain't going nowhere. And maybe you'll get confused, be like, Well, they said they wanted to go, and now they're not going. What's going on? You just got tatemai fam. That's what's going on.、Um, so, yeah, phrases like this where they show 
like proper willing to do something, probably they're not going to do it. But this is not, I know, you know, these things are kind of humorous and making fun. But sometimes there's a bit of truth in all these, so take it with that pinch of salt from Salt Bay. And it is what it is, but you'll probably encounter something along these lines. Right then, Dampan Man, last one. Yokai, Saishu wa. Onihongo Jozu desu ne. Ah, this old chestnut. The old Onihongo Jozu desu ne. The Dogen special. And what this means is, you're so skillful at Japanese. What it actually translates to is, your Japanese is fucking baba, mate. Get back to school. Go and study Genki one again. Because obviously you need to. Your Japanese is crap. Crack on. And it's one of them things. It's like lip service. Uh, when they say, oh, your Japanese is really good. What they mean is like, wow, you managed to say a couple of words. Congrats. And people fall for it's like, some people, oh, yeah, thank you. I've been trying really hard with Japanese. But what it actually means is like, you know, your Japanese sucks. But you hear this in some funny places, to be honest with you. I were at City Hall once and this woman were like, Hey, wakarimashita. Saisho wa namae to jusho to tanjoubi to. Zairyu card no bango to skina tabemono ta skina dobutsu no skin and I will like ah, Sinasen, Zenzen Wokanai, Moika it kudasai. And then she said Onihongo Jozu desne. That's right. I told her I didn't understand. And she told me, Wow, your Japanese is so good. What are you even talking about, mate? Oof, my angina. <laughs> Already making art jokes, been one week. <laughs> but yeah, so this happened to me in real life and I was just like, oh, restaurants here all the time. And I, I just want to pay money. Uh, and they're like, oh, you hungry to this, isn't it? Anything like, I'm just making fun, I don't really care. It's kind of cute that they're like, yeah, your Japanese is good. But it's a bit frustrating sometimes. Like when you're trying to deal with tax office on phone and they can't wait to tell you that your Japanese is good. People have made fun of this better than I have. Dogen and Mayday-san, they already made better jokes about this, but they don't own it. I can make jokes about it and all. So that's what it is. Anyway, thanks a lot, Dampan Man, for being a local Japanese expert. Thank you. Hi, do it But it's Yeah, getting paid. Yeah, yeah, cool. Anyway, so that was today's video. Five popular phrases in Japan and what they really mean. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget, pff, subscribe button, pff, thumbs up on this video. But that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. So, as always, until next time, pff, Jamata! That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment below and bang a thumbs up on this video. While you're at it, you may as well smash that subscribe button and ring that bell and you won't miss a thing. And there's plenty more videos like this one. There's one here and one here. Maybe you'll see something you like. All my videos are supported by the Jadan fam on Patreon. You guys are awesome. And as always, until next time. Jamata.